A portion of this video is sponsored by italki. We're Jimmy and Natalie, and last week you saw us travel a third of the country in just three days, stop at some iconic sites, and even face our fears. <laughs> this week we're continuing our journey east and forming a caravan with our friend, Corey. We're at a gas station in eastern Oklahoma, and this is where we are now, the farthest east that our van has ever been. Oh, it's still cold out. We're in Oklahoma, and it's still cold. We are meeting up with a friend, but we are pretty late at this point, so more on that later. He said we'd be able to see his van outside the house. We were supposed to be here like 40 minutes ago. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right. All right, so I guess we'll just follow you to lunch. Okay, that sounds good. So we've convinced him to take us to his old place of work, which is Brahms. I think it's a burger restaurant. I've heard of it because it's an ice cream place too, right? Uh, yeah, I think it has ice cream. Yeah. We've never been to one and they don't have them in South Carolina, at least not around the area we're from. So the sign on it says it's Brahms hamburgers, but there's obviously a really big ice cream cone on it. And I also see something that says there's a market. This is a confusing restaurant. I am all here for it. It's cool seeing new things. I never get shakes. Hmm. I, I really wish I would have gotten the shake instead. Because it's a free swap out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it really is it really pop? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> You'll call it soda. Because <laughs> <laughs> you said soda, and she started like smirking. I ordered our combos with soda and it's called pop here, so I got a, I got a dirty look from the law here to call it soda. I felt so out of place in that Brahms when I went to go order. She asked if I wanted uh, a shake, and I said, no thanks, I'll just have a soda. We're in Oklahoma, it's not called soda, it's, it's pop. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Oh, a little goat! I saw a goat hop. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Once you get to Oklahoma, it's it's starting to get really hard to find free dispersed camping. So we settled on this week for the next two nights at least we're gonna be staying at a state park. So we checked in and we're gonna go drive to our spot. Was that our new neighbor? Oh. Maybe. Well, when we first showed up, all the spots were pretty empty, but when we booked, this was the only open spot. So I'm pretty sure by the end of the night, this entire park is gonna be filled with RVs. Do you wanna give us a uh, an in-progress report on your van? Do you wanna show us what you've done in your van? Is that okay? Yeah, for sure. It's a mess. <laughs> well, we did put you on the spot. Every exactly. <laughs> Everything moved around whenever I was driving. You ever like relax like this and watch yeah, TV? Yeah, actually, while I was waiting on you all to get over to my house, uh -huh. that's exactly what I was doing. It's comfortable. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you're replacing this with uh, uh, like yep, an actual bench. bench. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it's supposed to rain tomorrow night, so I think we're gonna do our big dinner night tonight. The plan is to have baked potatoes over a fire. So Corey and I are gonna start making the fire now, and Natalie's inside buttering the potatoes and getting those ready to be cooked. I really hope you're supposed to butter potatoes. Did you get the log on that side? Yeah, yeah it's going a little bit. Willst du eine neue Sprache lernen? Wie vielleicht Deutsch? I really, really like learning German. And when I was working my job in Atlanta, I actually spent over a year studying German. But since then, I've pretty much completely stopped doing that. And a lot of it has to do with not having anyone to practice speaking with. But with italki, I can have one-on-one, -on -one customized language lessons with high-quality native-speaking teachers. You can learn more than 150 different languages through italki. You pay per lesson, so there's no subscription and no commitment. 
with lessons when and wherever you want, starting at just $5. I'm using italki to learn German and it has really improved my speaking skills. Und uh, wie lange reist du? Ich reise in ein Wohnmobil für zwei Jahre. Ah, okay, schon seit zwei Jahren. Und yeah. uh, gefällt es dir oder? If you want to learn how to speak a language, it's so important to get in speaking practice. And italki makes it so easy to get connected with the teacher and start practicing. Click the link below in our description to start your language learning journey. Plus, for the first 50 people to use our link, once you spend $10, you'll then get $5 off of your first lesson using our promo code Jimmy Natalie. Nun so look zum video. I call this the bathroom bike. Oh my gosh, don't. People might get the wrong idea. <laughs> What's the wrong idea? This is the bathroom bike. You... There's a bathroom here, it's really far away, and you need a bicycle to get to the bathroom. So it's like a shuttle to the bathroom. It's a shuttle to the bathroom, yeah. So I'm prepping the potatoes that we're gonna cook on the fire later. I'm washing them and then I'm putting them with butter and seasoned salt in some tin foil. And then we're just gonna cook this on the embers later. There is one of them that I forgot to wash, but don't worry, I marked it with an N. So that one will be for me. <laughs> That's gross. Okay. Are you gonna try out the bathroom bike? <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. You gotta quit calling it that. <laughs> it's not a <laughs> bathroom cool. bike. Have you ever ridden an e-bike before? It'll be fun. Hi, right, Natalie. Corey and I are gonna go play with the bathroom bike. Well, I'm done. I'm gonna come join you. Okay. And so, so just start pedaling. So yeah, pedaling's one way, and then if you want to hit the throttle, so it's also like a motorcycle, so you can hit the throttle and it'll kick forward too. Okay. All right. Good luck. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> He's doing pretty good. How fast did you get it up to? I got it up to 17. Really? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> okay, that's not hot. Oh, really? I, this guy's convinced that you can touch tin foil after it's been in a fire. Oh my gosh. It's not hot. I mean, I'm sure what? that right there is. No, that's not hot. I've never seen that's such not a hot thing. At all. Do you think the potatoes are cooked? I thought you could are squeeze them. Ugh, might need a little more on this side. Okay. That's crazy. I never knew that. I knew in the oven you could you could touch foil and pull it out, but I didn't. I wasn't sure on this. Tongs would really help for this. They're like a dollar at Walmart. Well, we too. apparently we don't need them because Corey can just pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> you are an absolute madman. That, <laughs> that looks so wrong. This is so good. We got a fire going, we got our lights, we got a van circle. We're allowed to park here. <laughs> it's a good night. And how does the person that feels no pain like the potatoes? They're amazing. <laughs> We bought our van in California, built it out in Utah, and now we've driven it to Oklahoma. So this is the farthest east this van has ever been. And it looks a lot different than it does out west, which has been new for us, because we really haven't left the western side of the US in over a year. We're gonna keep going east after this, but first we wanna kind of explore around Oklahoma and make sure we take our time. Last night we just hung out at our campsite for the most part, so we wanna go explore and uh, check out the waterfall. I think I hear the falls. I've been to Oklahoma before. I did not know they had waterfalls. Definitely not like this. We were a little worried about this Oklahoma State Park because it's only known for one thing, but we've been out hiking for a while and uh, it's not getting boring yet. I feel like anything seems very interesting after spending a year and a half in the desert though. <laughs> And the desert has its perks. It does not have the color green though. No, and that's so green. Like, look just right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> love you, Nat. Love you, too.
Oh. I think this way up might have been a little easier than the one they did. Oh, I'm back. Rock climbing is never easy when you don't have health insurance, though. Hey, that's a lot taller than I thought it was. Yeah, it's really tall. Y'all are nuts. All right, that's actually very impressive. Yeah. Got it, Corey. We've actually been a little interested in rock climbing lately. We've never been, so if anyone has recommendations for beginner level rock climbing on the East Coast, we'd honestly love to hear it. I've got a recommendation for beginner rock climbers. What? A helmet and a harness. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> Well, yesterday got really windy, so after we did our big hike, we pretty much just stayed inside. We had a lot of work to get done, but then later in the evening, we just all kind of hung out, watched a movie, played some games, had dinner. Today, we are leaving our campsite, so we're all packing up to go, and we're not exactly sure where we're gonna go next, but we're both pretty off-grid capable, so really the world's our oyster. We really don't stay at state parks very often because we can usually just try to find a spot for free. It's nice when you're meeting up with friends, making sure that you have a place you're allowed to park and a communal outdoor space. It's so fun having a picnic table and a grill and a, a fire ring. Oh, and a, <laughs> a bathroom. That, that really takes out some of the awkwardness because we've hung out with people in the van before where we don't have an outside bathroom to go use and um, we've had to kick people out of the van in the middle of a Catan game just, you know, to go pee or something. So it's a weird little luxury you wouldn't think about, but it's very nice staying at a state park when you meet up with people on the road. All right, we are finally on our way out of the state park. We had a little bit of drama as we were leaving. Uh, I've locked my keys in my car. But he did get it resolved. He took off his Max Air fan and squeezed in through the 14 inch hole through his roof and was able to unlock his car. Got him. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. <laughs> you broke into your own van. I know. I've never seen anything like it. It was, uh, it was wild. But we've got one more day with Corey as we're headed east. So we're gonna actually make it into Arkansas. He's following us through and don't hate me for this, but we are going to the official birthplace of Walmart. I think that's it right there. I, I do not know what to expect for this. And regardless of your opinion of Walmart, we spend a lot of our time there. I figured we gotta go show Walmart a little bit of respect and uh, go check out their museum while we're in town. At the very least, I'm curious. So the part of the Walmart museum that we were able to see was pretty cool. It was about the Walmart of the future and showing like future innovations that they want to implement. I think the bulk of the museum was closed for renovations. We went up to the sign and we were trying to find an entrance and the whole building is covered in scaffolding and there's no way to get in and it just says go check out their other location, which is the one we went to and it was cool, but I could definitely tell we're missing a lot of the attraction there. Hey, not bad for a free museum. I can't believe we're back in another Brahms, but I'm so excited for it. They only have them in a handful of states, so we've got to get it while we can. For tonight, we thought we might stay at the local Walmart, but when I called to ask if it was allowed, they said no which is better to know now rather than getting a knock in the middle of the night. Uh, but we are going to our backup plan, which is going to be a Cracker Barrel. Did you see what was uh, directly across the street? Brahms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could have walked over there. We literally could have, yeah. We invited Corey over to have pancakes in the van at nine. And we've been late for most of the things we've done this trip. I don't know why we're just so behind. Uh, and it's, it's nine. So if we text him in the next couple seconds, then we'll finally be on time for one thing in this trip. I think what it is, is daylight savings time was this weekend. So we're really struggling. Plus we came over from another time zone. So we're dealing with everything feels two hours earlier to us than it actually is. 
Okay. Uh, do you want crumbs in your pancakes? I love crumbs in my pancakes. Okay, convenient. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna watch that though, right? I am, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I like something that Jimmy thinks is super weird. I think the pancake batter is really good. So I like to dip my cooked pancake in pancake batter. I've never met anyone else who does it, but. I right, drink up. Oh my gosh. I'll do it though. If we, if we weren't sharing with Corey, I would totally eat that. Oh. Hey, oh. perfect. A perfect flip. <laughs> that was smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> Is this okay if I. We're done with this, right? Corey looks unsure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you like it. I'm pretty sure the uh, the FDA doesn't recommend eating raw pancake batter. Well, the FDA is not here. That's true. <laughs> I'm actually nervous about this one. It feels heavier. Oh, I'm getting the good at this. I know. And now the three of us have to share all three of these pancakes. Yeah, that would look pretty good if it was for one person. I know. Corey, that'll be yours. Thank you. Natalie, you'll get the undercooked one and I'll get the overcooked one. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> This just looks so sad. <laughs> I, I think they look awesome. It's minimalist. This is a lot better than I would have been able to do. The plate is taller than the pancake. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> we made it all the way out to Arkansas. We don't just want to look at the Walmart Museum and the Brahms. We we're going to actually go. Maybe and you don't. I mean, it, it wouldn't be bad, but we, we are going to go actually go and find a hike in the woods. I'm gonna be a pro at your van before long. <laughs> <laughs> He's deemed that his seat. That's where he always sits when yeah. he comes to visit. I can now fold the table down and open the door successfully. It's harder than it sounds. Yeah. See you guys in a minute. All right, see ya. See? What were you just saying, Corey? <laughs> I, need, I need both hands free to do this. Me too. <laughs> there we go. We've been going downhill for a while, so I'm a little nervous for the hike back. We're getting really close to the end of this trail, and if there's supposed to be an overlook, but we've been doing nothing but going downhill the whole time. So Natalie, you sure we're on the right trail, right? No, I never am. This is such a clear lake. It is eye-opening coming back to Arkansas, and realizing how familiar it feels because it's really similar to South Carolina. Like the woods and the lakes in South Carolina look a lot like this one. Yeah, I am glad we spent as much time as we did in the desert though. Like we weren't bored of it, but it was becoming so familiar for us. So it's really crazy to come back and see grass and trees and moss again and water. <laughs> yeah. There's actually <laughs> water here. This is a smaller overlook than we were expecting. Um, usually when I think of an overlook, I think of a peak of a mountain. But this one's probably equally as cool. What it ended up being was an overlook over the Beaver Lake. Yeah, we tested it and the water is like 35 degrees. I'm pretty sure if we tried to, we could convince Corey to jump in. I think if we weren't a mile and a half away from the vans, I think he would have gotten in. To one I'm step, scared. it's one little step. <laughs> ah, I don't want to do it. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, I hated that. I hated that. You made that seem a lot worse than it was. It's, it's scary. I swear, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> what? If you drop that camera, I'm going to be really mad at you. <laughs> Do you want to record me jumping that rock? No, Jimmy, don't do that. I could do that so easily. I don't want to see you do that. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. 
That was easy. And now you don't have to do it again. <laughs> I don't like this. Let's go home. Y'all might think I'm overreacting, but he doesn't have health insurance, so if he falls and cracks his head on that rock, I'm it, it's solo van life for me. So before anything bad happens, I think we're gonna end the video here. I think Jimmy's pushed his luck enough today. <laughs> but make sure to subscribe. We're on our journey back east to South Carolina, where we're from, and we're in Arkansas now, so we've got quite a ways left to go. But thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, you almost had if it. If I could do it like this, this Oh my gosh. <coughs> it's wiggly. I can't. Oh my gosh. Now, I can't. Nana. Nana. Why did that take you so long? I'm staring directly into the sun. The thing moves. I <laughs> there. Thank you. It's not a one handed job. <laughs> this is definitely colder than Blue Hole. Really? Yeah. That's warm. Like this part for me. Really? Oh. I think. I think you just. Maybe I'm just. That's <laughs> very cold, Nat. I don't know what you're talking what? about. Really? You can't feel cold and he can't feel hot. <laughs> We're like a superhero duo. <laughs> It'd be super awkward up close. Do I have chocolate on my teeth? You're, you're good. You're good. Thanks. Good thing I was recording for that. <laughs>